자, 안녕하세요. Today we will study basic consonants. Okay, before I explain how we pronounce some consonant, uh, let me make it make this clear. So, uh, as you see, uh, first uh, I divided sensitive and not sensitive. Sensitive for those who is quite sensitive in sound, and not sensitive, not very sensitive. So when they hear Korean uh, ga ga, some said it sounds like ka in English, and some said it sounds like ga in English. And how about the ka? Some said ka ha ka, and some said ka like this way. So they said uh, the difference between the ga ka is this, uh, first. This one we said oh this is. Uh, a bit weak and this is a bit strong. So when it's strong, we put H like ga ka ga ka. Do you think this is a strong? A strong uh, this ga is a stronger than ka. And how about this one? Uh, this is like a ga ga ga. Whether we use our voice or ka. when we don't use our voice, this is a ga ka. So ga ka. Do you think this is a uh, Korean ga is a voiced sound or ka is unvoiced sound? Which one is correct? So usually, I think uh, when I met, I met uh, several uh, my student, and most of my student uh, told me that uh, this ga sounds like ga in English and this ka sounds like ka in English, but actually. It's not. <laughs> Actually, it's not. If I make it very, very sensitive, uh, Korean ga is like ka, and ka is like ka. This one is correct. Uh, but I don't recommend you to follow. So, uh, what I'm, uh, what I'm explain, uh, I will use the yellow part. As a linguist, uh, I will use yellow part, but you, you just keep thinking, oh, this, uh, you just keep thinking the yellow, uh, white part. Okay. So for, uh, the ta also, uh, we linguist said it's a ta and this is, so the ta is like the ta, the ta, but you might think that, oh, this the sound like the ta sound like ta, like this way. How about this one? Pa and pa, pa. So what do you think? This is a pa. Ah, okay. So sorry again. Ba, pa, ba, pa. But actually, it sounds like ba and pa. <laughs> and this one is also a ja and cha, cha. Uh, actually, this is a phonetic sign of g, a g, g. Okay. So anyway, uh, I will use the yellow part. But maybe you better uh, use the white part. Uh, it must be easier to memorize. Okay, so so let's get started from ga. Okay. Okay, first one ga ga ga. When we pronounce ga, uh, our shape of the tongue is like this. Okay, so are we? I wear. I put on the pink gloves okay yeah. so our tongue looks like this and then when you pronounce ga 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 so back of this this is tongue and back of the tongue touch the ceiling this is this is our mouth this is our mouth and uh maybe i need to say this way okay so ga 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 can you feel it so when you uh pronounce ga like this okay so Memorize the shape of this your tongue, okay? And then we pronounce ga, ga. Uh, so now, uh, uh, in Korean syllable, every syllable must have first consonant and vowel. So we don't write a ga alone. This is wrong. So the first one, ga, k a, ga, ga. It is like this, g, a. So ga, right? A, ga. But this writing is wrong. Why this is wrong? Uh, 
Do you remember? This is what is this? 이거 뭐예요? This is helping consonant. So when do we use helping consonant? Consonant, consonant when there is no first consonant. But here, as you see, uh, this is the first consonant, right? In front of the vowel, this is first consonant. So we have first consonant. That means we don't need helping consonants. So this is wrong. So how shall we write? What is the correct way to write down? This one, okay? So how do you pronounce this one? G, A, together? Ga, Ga, okay? Ga. And this is G, O, Go. G, O. Do you remember? A, O. A wide open and O in the middle, okay? Go, Go. And this one, G, O. Round the lips, G, O, Go, Go. Like go, go, go. Okay. And this is G, U, Gu. And this is G, U. U is effortless vowel. Do you remember? Effortless. So slightly open your mouth and you don't have to move your tongues. Okay. This is G, U, G, G. And G, I, G. And G, E, G. So, uh, as you see, these two uh, has the same phonetic signs. That means uh, the pronunciation is the same, okay? But spelling is di different. G -e -g -e -e. And this letter is also, when you see this, you can see G shape, right? So that means the, when we pronounce these three, G, K, G, when you pronounce these three consonants, the shape of the tongue is the same like this same okay but difference is uh when you have when you pronounce that we use uh, uh we breathe out strongly that is k and when we use our voice this k k okay so uh these two letters i will explain later again so anyway uh, here what is important is when we pronounce g uh, this is our uh this is the shape of your tongue Next one. Uh, so this is the N. And when you pronounce N, when you pronounce N, shape of your tongue is like this. Okay. So under this camera, I'm now I'm putting on my gloves. Okay. So I'm preparing. Okay. So look at this. This is maybe uh, I need to say uh, I need to hold like this way. So this is shape of your tongue. N, N, N. Okay. No. Uh, so when you pronounce no, your your tip of your tongue uh, touch the alveolar here. Okay, so no, no. Uh, okay, so N A N A N A N A N N. How do you pronounce this one? Middle O O N O No Na I No You No. No, oh, no, 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 okay, no, 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 and no, u, nu, nu, no, u, nu, no, i, ni, nu, e, ne, nu, e, ne, okay, so, uh, memorize and remember the shape of the tongue, okay, and these letters, this consonant also, so when you look at, look this, this carefully, you can see the N is there, right? So, uh, this also sh uh, share the same position. When you pronounce these letters, we also, uh, the shape of your tongue is the same. This is the, the, ta, la. So shape of the, uh, tongue is the same. So this one, I will also, uh, explain. Not today, maybe tomorrow. Okay, and this is S. Uh, especially this is what we call soft S, not the real uh, S in, in English. Okay, so when you pronounce this one uh, here, the strong air comes out here. Uh, actually, not not the strong. Uh, the air uh, goes through between the tip of the tongues and alveolar here. Okay, so it's like friction. The friction of the sound, but 
uh, this one is a soft S. Okay, so not S. This is S. Oh, okay, so, sorry. S, S, like that. Okay, anyway, so S, A, S, A, Sa, Sa, not Sa. Okay, in English, this is Sa, but I think uh, in Korean, Sa, and S, O, So, S, O, So. S U Su S U S S I S S E S S E S. Uh, so later I will explain, but this one is uh, this one is the real S. Okay, so when you write double S, this is a real S. So as you see, one a single S is soft S. And this is G, G. So when we pronounce, yeah, <laughs> pronounce S, we use this part of your tongue. Okay. But in, uh, when you pronounce this G, G, J, 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 we use this part. Okay. J. So a little backward, a little backward. J, J, J. So J, A, uh, J. Uh, this is not Z, the Z, Z, the, uh, Z. So this is not Z. So at the back of the tongue, a little backward, we use G. Uh, uh, so we pronounce J, 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 okay? And Z, O, J, J, O, J, J, U, J, J, U, U. So J, J, J. And J, E, G. And J, E, J. J, E, J. Also same. Oh, uh, oh yeah, you already know, right? Yeah, it is, uh, has the same pronunciation. And when you see this, it all has S because S and Z is quite close. So we share the uh, same letters. So when you put one more stroke, this is J, and this is double J, so J. And one more strong, it's a uh, stronger sound, cha. Okay, this one also we will study later. And this is ma, ma. So this ma, like this, our mouth looks uh, square, right? Square. So ma, a, ma. So whenever you see the square, you remember ma sound because it looks like our mouth, ma. And ma, a, ma, ma, o, mo, ma, u, mu, ma, u, ma, ma, i, mi, ma, e, me, ma, e, me. And when you see this uh, consonant, it also has square. Okay, so that means. Uh, when we pronounce these letters, we also use the same part. Same part means we use our lips. Ma, ba, pa. Sorry, ma, ba, ba, pa. Okay, we use our lips. Okay. And last one is the, uh, maybe uh, you'll be surprised. Okay, look at this. Cha -chan. So this pipe, this pipe, when it, the voice is here, so the bar, uh, the pipe looks like circle. So that means the circle has two sounds. First, do you remember? Happy consonant, no sound value. Second, ng. Uh, we are, we learn ng now. So ng, ng is also, uh, this circle. Okay. So when the circle is in the first consonant, no sound value. But when they are in second consonant, that is ng. Okay. So for example, k a n g, g a n ng. So as you see, we write uh, second consonant here. Okay. We write this is the first consonant, vowel, and second consonant. So g a ng kang and s soft s soft s s a ng song. S -o -n -song. And N -o -n -nong. 
Okay, Gang Song Mong. Uh, this is H, but when we pronounce H, we also use our uh, not voice, not our voice, but uh, the air is start from here, so like this. Okay. So let's summarize. Let's summarize. When we pronounce U, okay, okay. When you pronounce uh, this circle, okay, circle, and when you pronounce uh, this is NG, so. When you pronounce ng, we use this part. Okay, 11, number 11. We use this part. And uh, here we also can pronounce uh, h, h. And when we write h, we put two strokes more. So one, two. So looks like head and hat, right? And, and this one, uh, this is ga, right? Yeah, ga, 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 shape of the tongue. When you pronounce ga, this part, the 14 moves up to 8, like this, okay? And then, ga, ga. And when we put one more stroke, this is ka. So, ga, ka, share the same place. And this one is s, s. S, we use this part, six, number 16 and 4. Number 16 and 4 is s, okay? Uh, but when we pronounce ja, another one, uh, we use this one, 15 and 5 or 6, okay? So when you put one more stroke, yeah, yeah, this is this one, ja, 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 s is here, okay, ja. And two more stroke, cha, cha, cha. And na, we use this is 17 and 4. No, 17 and 4, no, no, or 16 is also okay, yeah, <laughs> I guess, no. And one more stroke, I oh, sorry, yeah, yeah, we use this part, and one more stroke, da, da, same place, da, and two more stroke, ta, 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 and not three more stroke, <laughs> anyway, we write this way, and then this is L or R, usually L, R is always possible, L or R. And last one, we use both lips, these lips, okay? So this is a mouth, shape of our mouth. And here, two more, yeah, yeah like this, two more stroke, ba, and this is pa, ma, ba, pa. Okay, so let's just see how we combine the consonant and vowels. Sorry, <laughs> let's uh, let's uh, review. Okay, so how do you pronounce this one? Ga, ga. How about this one? Na, na. Shape. Ga and na. Okay. Ga, na. This is da, da. Na, da. Same place, right? Na, da, da. And this is la. So same. These are all same. La. I, I mean, same place. Na. The la. Okay. This is ma, our lips, ma, 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 and ba also still, ma, ba, ba, and s, shape of your uh, tongue, right? S, s, soft s, s, and this ng, 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 and this ja, ja, ja. This one, this one quite similar, right? Nah, ja, and last one, ha. H. Uh, when we studied Korean vowels, it has uh, two kinds of vowels, vertical vowels and horizontal vowels. So the location is slightly different. So for the vertical vowel, we put the vowels next to the consonant. These are first consonant. And so next to the consonant, we write uh, vertical vowels. Okay, so this is ga, gu, a. So, what is the other examples of vertical vowels? This is ga, go, and ki. Okay, these are vertical vowels. So, when we write down the vertical vowels, uh, vertical stroke, uh, stroke is longer than the horizontal one. Okay, and this is also quite interesting. Uh, for the horizontal vowel, we put them uh, under the consonant, like this. Okay, not here. Not here under the consonant. So this is gu, 
right? Gu, gu. So the other examples are ko, gu, g. Okay. So as you see, for a horizontal stroke is longer than the vertical one. Okay. Okay. Let's combine. Let's uh, combine. I put it in the middle. Okay. So as you see, it has no sound wave because these are the first consonant, not the ng. Okay. So uh, as you see, first consonant and a vowel. So no sound wave. A, o, o, u, e, i, e. So when now we combined uh, first consonant, g and a. So g a, ka, g o, go. Go, gu, ge, ki, ke. How about no? Na, no, no, nu, ne, ni, ne. Next one. Da, da, do, 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 du, de, di, de. Shu. Okay. La, ro, ro, ru, zi, li, re. Ma, ma, mo, mo, mu, mu, mi, me. How about this one? Pa, also lips. Ba, bo, bo, bu, bu, bi, be. And S, sa, so, so. Su, si, si, se. This is G. Ja, jo, jo, ju, ju, ji, je. H. Ha, ho, ho, hu, hu, hi, he. Now, let's practice with other vocabularies. Okay? Vocabulary. Yeah. So first, singer, like BTS or EXO, they are singer, right? So singer in Korean, singer in Korean. G, A, S, U, GASU. GASUYEO, GASUYEO. YEO is MR is, verb B is YEO, GASUYEO. 직업이 뭐예요? What's your job? What do you do for a living? 직업이 뭐예요? I'm a singer. GASUYEO, GASUYEO. This is meat. So what is meat in Korean? G, O, G, I. Gogi. Gogi예요. Gogi. Gogi, 맛있어요. 맛있어요? Tasty. Delicious. Gogi, 맛있어요. This is dressed shoes. Dressed shoes. G, U, D, U. Gudu. Gudu예요. Gudu예요. Oh, this is country. 